Hi, I'm Chandler. I'm Dave. We're here with Frank Copa. Is that how you pronounce your last name, by the way? I want to make nope, sure it's, it's, it's Cope. Cope. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna probably uh, edit that one out, but <laughs> <laughs> can we restart that? Someone told me it's Copa. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Cope, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm Dave, and I'm Chandler, and we're here with Frank Cope. We're gonna talk uh, about his new music that he just released. A couple of songs I heard they're in the works right it's now. One song. Yeah, a new single out. Yeah, it's a song called "Good to Me." That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. what's it about? It's about a girl that was good to me. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's pretty uh, self-explanatory, I guess. Yeah. I can get that. <laughs> when did you uh, start playing uh, for the first time? Well, I started playing guitar like in fifth grade, but I started writing songs and like performing about a year ago. Yeah, same time as you uh, started picking up the guitar. No, I, like I, I played guitar like my whole life, pretty much. Mm-hmm. But like I started writing songs and like trying to do music, That's awesome. a music thing, Sweet. since like the last January, twenty seven, sixteen, twenty sixteen. Yeah. Cool. You got any plans for the summer? Get lit <laughs> <laughs> and release some music. Yeah, I have a bunch of music coming Sounds out. Sounds about right. Yeah, like those are the two things. That's cool. what summer's for. Cool. It's for music and lit. But uh, yeah, I recorded some music with um, a new producer. He's worked with like Young the Giant and a bunch of people. Mm-hmm. His name's John, and uh, we have some really cool tunes coming out. Who would you say your like musical influences are nowadays? I mean, like. Ed Sheeran's up there, Throne Pilots, mm-hmm. Frank Ocean, Bon Iver. Sweet. There's bun- like, ev- like I listen to like a ridiculous amount of music. Like I would go from like listening to System of a Down <laughs> to like System Taylor Down. Swift. <laughs> That's sweet. So There's some uh, drastic change right there. Yeah, it's just how I. L- I c- so a typical car ride with you goes from Taylor Swift to, to, System of to a like Down. Chop Suey. Chop Suey. Oh yeah. And then some Ed Sheeran to finish it off. Yeah, and maybe, oh, Grimes. I want to mention Grimes. Grimes. If you guys haven't heard of Grimes or was watching, check out Grimes. She, she doesn't sound anything like my music. I just <laughs> love. Take out the music. Yeah, she's pretty She's pretty dope. Now, you may have uh, in music influences nowadays, but what really got, got you into the whole, like, you know, when you started picking up the guitar and actually playing? I Well, I, well picking up the guitar when I was, like, in fourth grade, I'd say I was listening to a lot of Beatles songs. Like, my dad taught me to play. And I'd have like the Beatles, like the booklet of all the chords of all the songs. Mm-hmm. It was like 194 songs. Hmm. At one point, I learned them all. Like, I had them all memorized by heart. Sweet. You teach yourself? I mean, my dad taught me, and I had a couple lessons, but like I pretty much just figured it out on my own. Mm-hmm. I think that's how most people do it. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what's your songwriting process? Uh, well, I don't want to write. I don't write any song that isn't like honest or truthful or something like mm-hmm. about me or like a story in my life or way I'm feeling. So your story your uh, your songs are very very personal. Yeah, they tell person. Yeah, they're very um maybe about relationships with people, whether that be a girl or a friend or it's like introspection. That's the word. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Introspection or like just thinking about parts of life. Like I have a song, Yosemite, that's uh, coming out this summer. That with I did with the producer, Sweet. and it's about something that happened two years ago. And then I wrote a song about a week ago, about a week ago, <laughs> <laughs> that that was about something that happened like that night. Like I wrote the song that night, mm-hmm. so like it changes. Like sometimes I'll be like a reflection of like something that happened like a bunch of years ago that I've been trying to write about, and other times it's just in the moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Okay. And then uh, do lyrics come first? Guitar come first? Does it change up? I use like, a loop pedal. A loop pedal? Okay. And uh, oftentimes when I write, sometimes I'll write a loop with it, or I'll be on my computer with my production software, and I'll lay out something. Sometimes, like, it'll be, like, one in the morning, I'm driving home, and, like, I have the chorus. Like, I just figured it out in my head. Like, like dude, I got to, and I get, like, my phone, get my recording, and, yeah. like, sing it, just to remember it. And a lot of the times, it's, like, Frankenstein songs. Like, songs get put together. Like, there's, like, parts from, like, a bunch of songs. Like, I had I have a song, Wonder Love. That <coughs> was, like, three different songs. Mm, before you it was, like, yeah. Together. Yeah, it was, like, original Wonder Love, and there was another song, and then, the, like, a bridge. Like, it was a bunch of stuff. Yeah, and then you just put it all together, just... And then it fit. It fit yeah. nicely, yeah. It was, like, putting together a sandwich, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're uh, influenced by a lot of a lot of different artists growing up. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Like, 
I would be listening, like I told you, like with the system of a down, like yeah. it's all over the place. Mm. I'd say like what I sound the most like, what I sound the most like would be, uh, I guess I got an Ed Sheeran just because the loop pedal. He's like the only one that does that. But um, I was about to say, yeah, Ed Sheeran's like a master yeah. of the loop pedal. Yeah, he's he's a couple live performances with him. Yeah, he's you good. were killing it on the loop pedal That's in sweet. there. I was doing my best. <laughs> I did the cover of his his big song. It's difficult. Yeah, it is. It took some time. I've been. I did started doing that around the time I started writing songs. Mm. So I kind of wrote songs. So you've kind of always just been using the loop pedal through the process. Yeah, I sucked at it for a long time. (laughs) You sucked at it, and I still kind of (laughs) suck. But you know, it's yeah, you're definitely not terrible. (laughs) Yeah, you might suck if you say that, but (laughs) you're definitely not terrible. Yeah, it's because I just couldn't find people to be a join a band with or like have a band you know what i mean hmm. so you just kind of built your own i was like yeah i'll just get like just this loop pedal yeah get the loop if pedal. ed sheeran can do it i can yeah. attempt at it yeah. yeah why not i don't know <laughs> so who would you say you uh you've been listening to the most today recently today maybe not today but you know last, uh, last couple months or so i think i can look at my most recent the thingy uh we're getting the we're getting the play by play. Dude, right new here. Calvin He's Harris going straight into his phone. New Calvin Harris songs, pretty dope. Calvin Harris. Yeah, he's got that album coming out end of June. He it's really funky. That, uh, shout out, at, you know, <laughs> Calvin <laughs> Harris. So I've, been I've been rolling down, down the out. freeway. I've been hmm. driving. That's pretty good. Um, Hein Cooper. New Ed Sheeran album. I see the new John Mayer album in there. You dig? Oh yeah, that? dude. That's better than the new Ed Sheeran album. There you go. <laughs> Hope you didn't watch this. But yeah, uh, it better be better than yeah, the new Ed Sheeran was very disappointing. I don't want to say. I don't want to get it that on a film. Lot of artists, it was yeah. like it was just different. He just had all the pop. hype build up yeah. for him. You know, last couple albums. You know. Yeah, can't, like can't multiply to his it, so. the previous album, the the second mm-hmm. debut or not second debut, the second studio album was like a masterpiece. Like that's like probably my number one album of all time. Mm. And like it's tough it's a tough album to top. Mm. Yeah, especially when he but already uh, makes your favorite album of all time. So where's top that? Yeah, where's John Mayer, his new it's got a pretty damn good album. Oh, yeah. Pretty good album, yeah. What's I'd your f- what's say. your favorite on that album? On that album, I'd have to say Rosie for sure. The groove on that what? the r- groove on that is dope. I love that melody <laughs> that he lays down. Rosie and is pretty you know, it's just very you know, groovy. Just, just very uh-huh. groovy, very, very much mellow like song. Continuum. Yeah, yeah, and then I just love, I just love influence. that that Cutron effect down Brought down at back. the end. You know, just uh, you know, right at the end solo, just killing Dude. it, just I killing it. Moving on, getting over. Mm-hmm. It was the, I think it was the first one that came out from that. And I was loving the weekend. Moving on, getting over. Dun, dun. You got that. any guilty pleasure songs? <laughs> Dude, hey, ours. What's the song I mean, you sing in the shower. I'm sure. I'm sure. I sing in the shower. Yeah, I got a couple. Ours by Taylor Swift. Okay. Ours by Taylor Swift. Don't you worry, your pretty little mind. People uh, throw rocks at things. Isn't that old? That's pretty old song. That's pretty old. That was back when she was country. That's an old Eba Goody, uh. back when she was straight country. Now, was Taylor yeah. Swift a better country artist or a better pop artist? Dude, she can do whatever she opinion. wants. She's <laughs> <a> better. <laughs> she can do whatever she wants. Yeah. She just yeah, crossed I think over she, and started she's killing having, it. I think she has a new album coming out. I think it's going to be like Trap. Oh, shit. Like I think that's yeah, the trend. I heard it was her country, future and Drake, pop. and uh, they were just gonna hit the trap scene that's hard. Yeah. crazy. Mr. Drake is Maybe very. Maybe Twenty One Savage is interesting. I feel like I'm Twenty One Savage. <laughs> so you said you got a plans for the summer to release some more yeah, music. Yeah, right? I think it's all kind of up in the air. I think it's gonna be an EP. Okay. But it might be singles. We'll see. How many songs do you think are gonna be on this EP? Uh, four or five. Cool. Around that. I, I put out one. It's very sounds very 80s and all the I think I've played you the other ones and earlier. And you can find all your stuff on Spotify and everything, right? Oh yeah, I'm on Spotify, Apple Music, Netflix. You can just search Frank Cope. All that stuff. Yeah, it's Frank Cope. Hmm. You can put like a annotation or whatever. Yeah, we we can get we can get it right down here. Just Frank Cope. It's like whatever. <laughs> That'd be pretty rad. I I feel like honored to be on this. Like, I've never done an interview. This is my first interview ever. Hey, we're honored to, you know, do your first interview. You know, yeah. it's it's not always easy the first time, you know, especially yeah, coming. in. Couch is a little ratty. You might not, yeah, you know, couch is all very the cameras. You're sinky. not really sure what's going on. But yeah, there's you know. a lot of other cameras. There's also a lot of people off camera that are just standing here looking at us. Mm. It's behind the scenes. Like Hit behind the scenes at the machine. <laughs> it's 
guy's there. By the way, it's hot as hell in here. I don't know if uh, any of you guys have noticed, but I'm sweating. Balls. Takes a lot. It takes a lot of energy to move all those gears. Yeah, you know? it does. Uh, yeah, I can't like imagine you doing that. Yeah, the machine. You know, yeah. it takes a lot of effort. You know, we got all the gerbils running in the in the wheels. <laughs> all the all the rats running after the cheese. You know, <laughs> horses going on the stables. They're all we're, they're working. You know, mm. yeah. all the the good to me song. I was listening to that oh. the other day. You digging it? Yeah. Did you get any influences for that song? I want to do an 80s song, and it's kind of like, it's like 80s indie pop, and um, it sounds like The Cure, it sounds like, it sounds like The Cure, and like Third Eye Blind. Third Eye Blind, that's a good band. And like a smidgen of Ed Sheeran, like mm -hmm. if you have like Salt, or just like do a little. Just like, just or what's the guy's name? Salt Bay? Salt yeah, Bay. Yeah, he, he, he just does a little mm. bit of that, and that's good to me. Yeah. Yeah, it was a... Uh, so song, it's, a, it's a love triangle between Salt Bay, Ed Sheeran, and it's <laughs> yeah, pop. Yeah, that is like the song. And that's good. And that's good to me. There yeah, we go. Yeah, like Salt Bay. <laughs> Salt Bay, Ed Sheeran. Dude, that dude is like, he's the man. He, t I mean, I should write a song about that. You about Salt Bay. <laughs> I mean, you, you, you should. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude. What else? What uh, why not? Yeah. I mean, I got. I'm like sitting on like two albums worth of material of songs that I'm trying to get recorded, and uh, like I already put out an EP earlier this year mm -hmm. in January called Wonder Love, and then I'm putting out another one I think in July. So I'm just gonna keep releasing content. Hopefully, get some some buzz in the Orange County music scene. Mm. Represent. All right, so we've saved the most important question for last. So we've talked about your songwriting. We've yeah. talked about your childhood. We've talked about how you started writing, you know, your music. Started, uh, you know, getting into, getting into Salt Bay, Ed Sheeran. Yeah. You know, you're into the new John Mayer album. For the last question, poached, sunny side up, scrambled, or other? Okay, not scrambled. I'm not a big fan of scrambled. You know. Uh, I don't. I don't think I. All right, all right, all right, hold on. No, I don't think new, I know new, what's new, funny. New, new question, new Good. question. <laughs> all right. New question. So you're eating three eggs. You got to kill, <laughs> fuck, and marry. Scrambled, poached, sunny side up. Fuck, mm. kill, marry. I would fuck a poached egg. Okay. I think Understandable. I, I think most that. of us would. You know, for obvious, I don't obvious know, reasons. I don't, know, I don't know what a poached egg is, but it sounds like... It's kind of like an over easy egg, but it's... it's pretty... You know, it's it's same. Fuckable. Same. Yeah, but different. Yeah, you, right. can but still, still you can still pop still the yolk, and it can still you know ooze everywhere. It's still, yeah, 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 that's my favorite part of the egg, honestly. Um, yeah, I mean, when you got the toast and you you hit that thing and you soak it up, exactly. Yeah. You gotta hit the toast. You gotta hit that toast, man. It's all um, about the toast. I would kill scrambled, and I'd marry sunny side up because I want side up. a sunny day every day. Okay. Yeah. All right, are you folks. A, are you a butter on your toast guy or a jam on your toast guy? Well. I'm a peanut butter and Nutella on my toast oh, guy. Okay. Peanut butter and them. Nutella or or just, you know, does it change up on the day or it, both? I mean always. like depends on like what season it is. Yeah, because it's not like, always Nutella. If it's season. football season. It's not always Nutella. Or if it's like summer. Okay. I mean playoffs, you know, obviously changes. Playoffs, you, know? you gotta have some jam. <laughs> you know, you gotta have you can't jam without uh, yeah. a little playoff action. Sometimes so. like I'll jam with a few local musicians and we'll have jam mm -hmm. at the jam. That's punny. It really, dude. it really. No, it's like not even at a joke. Like it really helps. Oh, like I mean, there's nothing better when you, uh, you, you know you forget to bring your jam to the gym. But sometimes one guy brought jelly. It wasn't jam. It said jelly on it. Oh. And we're like, yeah, you have to go. It, yeah, you kicked him out, right? Because that's yeah, I don't, I don't know where he is. <laughs> that's not that's something. I haven't talked to that guy since then. <laughs> yeah. Um, can I? I want to flip the script. I want to interview you guys. All right. I don't know if this has ever been is done. This, this is, is exclusive. This is allowed. Is this allowed? I don't think it is, but <laughs> I don't really care. Who do you want? So who do you want to interview first? I want to interview you. All right. Okay, Chandler. How did you start? How did you get into the interviewing business? <laughs> you know, to be honest, this is my first fucking interview I have ever done, ever. <laughs> Me so too. So you were. This is your first for both of you. Friends. This is like, yeah, this is Hope. like we're popping our interview cherries. There you go. Yeah, exactly. That's uh, one. That's one way to work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. What about you? How many interviews? How did you get into the interview business? 
Uh, well, you know, my father, you know, he uh, he used to go around to middle schools and he tells stories, which you like, know, like he would just walk on, or was it like coordinated? Like when he talked to the it was it was more just, court mandated. Hey kids, than I anything. got a story. But <laughs> it was he would he would go <laughs> tell stories, and it might not seem much like an interview, but um, you know, I had uh, you know, I I grew up telling stories, and then one day. I walked into a, a news anchor casting, and they said, hey, do you need an, are you here for the interview? <laughs> and I said, I guess so. So I started, you know, just doing, so. a few, doing a few interviews a couple of years ago, and then, you know, I found my way to the machine, and here we are. Damn. That was a fucking... I, I, have, I have to, you know, give a shout-out to a couple of people, Katie Couric, you know, Kelly Ripa, <laughs> you know, just a few of the people who inspired me to uh, get into... I wish I knew who they were. The, uh, well, not many people outside of the interview Jesus business interview. know many interviewers. The biz. You know, it's really more biz talk than anything. The IB as the interview business. Yeah, you know, because in the interview biz, you got to shorten it because you got to save ib. as much time as possible because, uh, you know, as they say, the cameras are always rolling. Shout out Katie Couric. Yeah. I mean, I guess my next question is for Chandler. What's up? Uh, what you drinking there? Peace tea. I don't fuck with Arizona anymore, man. What? Are you trying to make too a much sugar with that uh, with that tea? Um, mm. Copyright. This interview brought to you by Peace Tea. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't know. I just started drinking Peace Tea, and ever since I haven't switched back to Arizona, even though it's cheaper. Is it a is it a dude. vegan thing? It may be a vegan. Or more thing. Peace thing. I still eat meat. I, though, I'm so. vegan. Are you? Sometimes. Yeah, only yeah, sometimes. I I agree. When uh when you know I have an when I can't afford salad. meat, I'm pretty much a vegan. So, when, like I want to be vegan, but like, just meat's so good. Mm -mm. That that's what I said. You know, <laughs> I always I always say if I I I could be vegan, like, if I'm not I can gonna only eat meat. <laughs> so music, music uh. It's all good. All right. Uh, I have I a question. Oh, I'm just kidding, go oh are we I gonna? Was, I was gonna close it out. You're gonna close it out. Is that cool? All right. Do you want to ask one more question? You have a question for Dave or what? Yeah. My question for Dave is: Do you have any more questions for me? I thought he you smokes go to like. Right, what is your favorite? You know, you're, you've you know you know you've you've gone away. You've been gigging for days. You know, and you finally get home. What is the meal that you are gonna eat? When you're done, toast. <laughs> just toast. Some carbs. Yeah, I can just eat. Maybe like, not toast a you know a, a Sunday brunch. Da <laughs> 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 That was good. He's in a band. <laughs> um, <laughs> dude, Sunday brunch is like probably the best meal of the day though of the, of the week, not the day yeah. of the week. You know what they say? Anything with mimosas is. <laughs> Pretty mimosa, awesome. Well, you, you gotta know. drink the hangover from on Saturday. The hostess <laughs> with the mimosas. They s the has hostess the with the mimosas <laughs> always has the mostest. You go. For well, that. we're with Frank. I'm Chandler, and I'm Dave. I'm Frank. And thanks for watching the machine. Washing the machine. I know it does sound kind of like washing the machine. <laughs>